Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've got a little bib on because you know I got a whole white sweatshirt on under this. But as you guys can see by the title today, I am doing a video. Finally, finally, I'm giving you guys another foundation hunt. My bad if you guys have been asking for them. I see you, I see your requests, just know they're coming. I'm planning 12 days of foundation hunt, but I had to do this because this is the foundation everyone and their mama is currently talking about. I do not think I've seen anything negative be said about this foundation, so I, I had to try. If you guys haven't heard, it is the new foundation from NARS. If you guys want to see and, and see why I've got two different boxes here, then let's go. So this is the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This retails for $40 for 1.5 ounces. This comes in 34 shades, and let me tell y'all about these shades and why I've got two boxes here. So, um, luckily NARS's foundations have the same names across ranges, but I don't know if those names correlate to the same shades across ranges. If you guys don't know, like cover effects, if you are you know, 150 in cover effects in one foundation, you're gonna be 150 in the next foundation that cover effects comes out with. I don't know if that's the same for NARS, but I do know that they have the same names. So they have, so I've tried this shade, I'm, I'm getting them mixed up. They, I've tried the shade New Caledonia in Sheer Glow. I've tried just about every <laughs> NARS foundation that's come out and I'm the shade New Caledonia in Sheer Glow. So when I saw this one, I was like, maybe I should get that one. But they have the shade Iguaku that has a neutral undertone. You guys know I have a neutral undertone. So I was like, maybe I should get that one. But I saw they were giving little mini um, soft matte foundations away. So I was like, okay, well, they don't have Iguaku in a mini shade. And that's the one that has a neutral foundation. So let me buy the full size of Aguaku and then I'll get New Caledonia in a little mini size and see how that works. And you know, like worst case scenario, I might have to uh, exchange this for a full size of this one. I was doing some swatching over the weekend and I was posting the swatches on Twitter and Twitter was like, oh, we can't help you. We don't see any difference <laughs> in the shades. Like I'm pretty sure these these are the two shades next to each other in the range. Like it goes this one and this one, and then, you know, whatever shades come after that. Look how thick, she is thick. Oh, look at how thick this bottle is. Can you say thick again? Thick. Um, it's, it's childish. It makes me laugh when I look at the shape of this foundation. What do they say about it? Um, what it is, a 16 hour oxidation resistant foundation that balances oil while maintaining a hydrated skin like finish, protects from pollution and blue light. Coverage is full, finish is matte, formulation is liquid. This is for normal dry combination oily skin. What else do you need to know? Discover comfortable 16 hour wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant. Uh help protect skin from pollution. Oh, okay. So this is how I see it. I've got two sides to my face and I've got two shades. So I'm gonna test one shade out on one side of my face. I'm gonna start with a uh, mini version first. Now it has no business being this cold. Like summer has officially left New York and it's still it's September. It's, it's, not, it's like mid-September and it's already this cold. And I'm tired, I'm tired of these braids, okay? Um, I've, I've outgrown, literally, well, you can't see it right now, but I've outgrown these braids as well. Okay, that should be enough for one side of my face. I'm gonna start blending that out. Okay, 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 NARS, all right. And then I got um, a Guaku on the other side and I'm gonna just go blend this out. Yeah, you can see, you can see like a slight color difference. But which one is the better match is the question. Okay, so those are the two sides of my face. You also get to see which type of application you would prefer, a sponge or a brush. I'm just gonna go ahead quickly, you know, skip past me doing the rest of my face. I'm really sitting here trying to figure out like all the ways I don't have to return or exchange this. And you know, I I would prefer my foundation be a little too dark than a little too light, right? That makes sense. Wait, I would prefer be a little too, yeah, 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 I said it right. So my left eyelash isn't even like properly glued on, but my camera's like really about to die, die. So I had to, you know, wrap up my face. This is my face for the day. It is, come on, 11.02. I'ma go check in midday and then see you guys back here later tonight. Tell you my thoughts on this foundation. 
So it is four in the afternoon. This is my face is looking like. I feel like in natural lighting, I would have to say a guacu is the shade that I should wear in this foundation. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I could pass with both, but I feel like uh, what's uh, new New Caledonia is like a smidge, smidge too light. Like a like it can get too too light real quick. Just add like another layer of foundation, which I wouldn't do anyway. But you guys know what I'm saying. Like I just, I don't. You guys tell me which shade uh you think is the one. So I am back, it is 6.08, this is my face is looking like. I mean, I might see why everyone's talking about it, you know. I might see a little something when it comes to this foundation. What did they say about this? A 16 hour oxidation resistant foundation balances oil while maintaining a hydrated skin like finish, protects from pollution and blue light. I'm um, just focusing on that um, balances oil while maintaining a hydrated skin like finish. It was a soft matte foundation. Those are my favorite type of foundations, you know, like full blown matte, like it is a matte matte, like Kat Von D is matte matte um nyx can't stop won't stop that is a matte matte foundation for the people out there who are like listen i have oily skin i need the mattest of matte i can get there are two found okay well one foundation out there for you to check out if you're interested in those but i like those soft matte foundations because they give you matte but they also allow your your skin to breathe while you're wearing it you know i can i can do all of this with my face and i can i can still i can still breathe i can still move you know imagine i've got like a glass of wine in my hands right now and i'm swirling it around that's what my face can do that's what i feel like i can do <laughs> with my face right now even though i'm wearing makeup and even though this is a matte foundation um yeah my I'm getting oily well my t-zone is where i get oily i'm getting oily especially on my nose area and in my t-zone but keep in mind like i used a radiant primer um and and i thought about it later on and i was like that giorgio armani concealer is also <laughs> a luminous product um and even even with all of that you know she she's still holding up very well on my face hours later and another thing with soft matte foundations is because it's not such a matte matte product you can make it even matter with other products if you want to and you can balance it out and make it you know even less matte you know even more of a natural finish because soft matte foundations usually have a very pretty finish on the face because again soft matte they're not going to give you that almost like dry type of finish that some full matte foundations will give you um you know like i was saying with the urban decay foundation i was talking about the other day stay naked yes it is a matte foundation more for you know oily skin well soft matte um for oily skin people out there but the finish that it gives you gives you type of a, a natural finish but the the formula is what's for oily skin that's what soft matte usually gives people. Although I can move my face, I don't feel like, you know, it's slip sliding and like the product itself is actually moving on my face. So staying put, th that matteness kicking in there. Um, it said full coverage foundation. You guys know I don't use a lot of products in general for like literally anything. Um, but even like taking it right out of the bottle, I don't know if I would say like full. It's, it's like medium closer to full coverage. Like again, when I think full coverage, I'm thinking that like Kat Von D foundation. Oh, uh, it's a full, full coverage foundation. Like even that Urban Decay foundation is a little more, well maybe they're the same. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe they're the same as far as that goes. But I'm someone who doesn't use a lot of products in general. So that could just be a me thing. But I definitely think it's a buildable, you know, you can, if you do do layers of foundation, you can do layers with this and it'll look nice. Also, if you don't like a lot of uh, product, a lot of coverage, stuff like that, you can also, you know, like shear it down. It'll still look nice. Again, when it has that type of like natural finish to it, you can, you can do a lot with those type of products. Um, anything else? Oh, I'll do a flash test right here. I do have some little tissue here so if I wanted to like blot to see what my face would be giving because y'all know I don't like doing that during the day and that's what it looks like afterwards oh I guess transfer um 
I mean like I pushed into my face for that. I'm wearing white. <laughs> I think I'm still I'm still good hours later. I don't think it like transferred throughout the day. So I really think I really think that is it. Oh, the color. Um I think this is the darker shade. This is the lighter one. I think I I'm gonna keep the the full cuz you know I bought the darker shade in the full size bottle. I think I'm gonna stick with that one i told you guys i do want to try you know like the two shades together just use the lighter shade as my concealer shade so i'll let you guys see that in some upcoming video but i don't know like this one she gives she gives me just like a little too light like just a little a little too, i don't i don't know i'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments down below but i don't maybe like a winter shade you know maybe this is my winter shade you know when your skin starts getting a little paler um but for now, I think I'm gonna stick with uh, Iguaku. And that is it for me trying out the new NARS Soft Matte Foundation. What is this whole thing called? Soft Matte's Complete Foundation. I'm here for it. Okay, they done did something. Okay, I haven't heard people talk about a NARS foundation like this since that like natural radiant, which I was more uh, a sheer glow fan than natural radiant. Would you say that the, the two of those foundations have been combined into this one? You might actually be able to say that because the natural radiant you know this this foundation the soft matte might have the finish the finish of natural radiant and more of the formula of sheer glow because i like sheer glow even someone who has oily skin because it held up well on my oily skin hours later so maybe like the formula of sheer glow and they just threw in just a little extra dash of, of madness maybe Oh, so if you couldn't figure out if you liked or you know you were just kind of eh on those two, like this one kind of has something that I want and that one kind of has something that I want and you you want them both together, maybe this foundation did that. Okay, okay, Nars. All right, okay. So yeah, that is it for me testing out this foundation. I hope seeing me test this out, seeing the shades on me has helped. If any of you were thinking of picking it up for yourself, make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.